Hello Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo and this is my view in fewer than two. WWDC 2023 is now! Oh my gosh, it's okay, maybe not immediately, but it's like coming very, very soon. Three things I would love to hear Apple announce at this WWDC. The first one, and if you know me at all, this shouldn't come as any surprise, I would love to hear of a reboot of iOS 7. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, that was that was a bad version of iOS. That was that was the, the first bad version of iOS, and I just can't get it out of my head. Uh, a general reboot of iOS, completely stem to stern. Like, fix the performance issues once and for all. And don't sit there and tell me. Don't gaslight me and tell me there are no performance issues because I still see them with my current iPhone, which is what, uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max Pro Premium Plus? Premium. That's, it's a plus premium. It's, that's only a thing that Apple could do. Uh, I still see the, the, the problems, so I'd love to see a reboot, uh, stem to stern. Barring that, just fix the jank. Because the jank is there, the way that iOS scrolls is very <laughs> hiccupy. I don't like it. I don't like it. Hey, maybe you love your Apple hiccups. Me, personally, I like my platforms hiccup-free. So the third thing that I'd love to hear Apple do in, in this WWDC is say that they're ready to let messages or iMessage be for anybody, everybody. I mean, they did that with FaceTime. I understand they want to hold iMessage back or message back, but we're entering an era where messaging shouldn't necessarily be the value to getting one device over another, especially when we have friends who use whatever they use.